All right, got the uh, FMS Super EZ. Going to come out on high rates on everything. Wind's picked up quite a bit since I got here. This will be my last flight of the day. Winds are about 9 miles an hour steady with gusts up to 14 right now, according to the anemometer. Got off in about a foot with the wind. And what makes it rough also is the winds are variable, both in uh, direction and in speed. Let's see if we can wind surf up here. A little bit of throttle management and you can almost like flying a kite. See if we can see the difference the wind makes in our speed. This is a end of the wind pass. Be full throttle down low. Max throttle right there. Now we'll come back the other way. And the downwind pass. And bleed some altitude off. Oh yeah, much faster. There goes a big old egret. Let's follow him and see where he's going. Hello, Mr. Egret. I don't want to get too close to you. I don't want to make you nervous. Have you grab my little foam plane and rip her up. Something like that is going to be real nice to have a camera on the plane. Another high speed down low. It's an aileron only, and there's a little bit of rudder for a snap. That's tight as loops as she'll do, even with the crosswind hitting it, not that bad. There's an outside loop. A couple of them. The outside loops, I am at full throttle when I'm doing those, though, just uh, and high rates on the control surfaces. This one is a real light plane though, so if you get out here in more than uh, more than about 12 to 15 mile an hour steady wind, uh, you better be on the sticks because it can get bullied pretty bad. Let's see if we can park it here in front of us. Not too good. Hmm, we're at a 
small lull in the wind right now. I can tell because the plane did not want to windsurf too well. This has got pretty good rudder authority on it as well for it to be as small as it is. Here's a turn, left turn with rudder only input. Here it goes. Now you gotta give it some up elevator there at the bottom because she will uh, drop the nose on you. But that's probably due to the CG I have set. I am fly it, uh, I fly this with a 2200. So it's a little extra weight. Yeah, the rudder is not big at all, but yet she'll kick the tail in around really well. She doesn't have quite enough power to fly off the prop. We still got to maintain some lift under the wings. Surprise, there's no one else out here today. This is our last good day of. Uh, well, I shouldn't even say good day, but it's our last mediocre day that we're going to have. I think for the all the way up till next Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to have winds slated to be about 15 and higher. I'll try to edit some of this video out because we have been flying uh, close to 10 minutes already. I know it gets boring to watch the same old stuff over and over and over. I think we gave our gear up command. See if we can get her into a spin on the way down. Wind's too strong. Fighting it. Oh, there's our timer. Too late. Look at that. Slow speed. Not touching down yet. Not gonna touch down, just gonna go around. <laughs> you could almost walk out there and grab it. Five, 
What a great plane. I think just would win a limbo contest, I think. You'd have to have something like a Valiant, I think. Timber is a little too twitchy because of the weight. This in here is light enough that I think you could probably slow it down and get it maybe for sure three feet under the pole. See, I haven't touched it. Oh, there's the wheel just kiss. All right, FMS Super Easy. Tons and tons and tons to fly, of fun to fly. You can take it right to the schoolyard and have a great time with it. All right, thanks for watching. All right, just got on the bench here with the uh, Super EZ. See, that's where our battery's sitting in at. A little bit of a... I put Velcro down on the plate and the battery here so the, the uh, strap is really just an extra precaution that's not, not really needed on this. I guess you're not going to get super 3D aerobatic with it. Alright, let's take a look at our battery. And that was after uh, 10 minutes of flight. So not too bad. Um, this pack here is also very old. It's probably approaching two years old. Gen's Ace. Three cell, 2200. And um, it's a low discharge battery, 25C. Picked it up uh, a couple years ago for around ten bucks, I think, ten ninety nine on sale. Decent batteries if you're not needing any high uh, current drain. All right, there it is, super easy from FMS. Got to add one to your collection. Thanks.